Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as a four kids at one four seven, and I finished um, the deer. So this was a painting that I kitted up. Uh, was it last week or the week before? Um, based on letting the app decide as to which one I was doing, it was a whole lot of pink, um, and I did spread that out in between other stuff that I was doing um, and I basically worked from here up and then across and then I worked down um, before then going up the middle and having stuff that was a little bit more interesting even though there were still blocks of pink. I like to save the exciting part of a painting where I can to the end um, and I didn't want to finish by just doing a whole load of pink. I would have completely lost interest. Um, but this was part of a two set. So you can see here, it is actually a 60 by 40. Um, and it also comes with a swan. However, pretty soon after getting it, I did cut it in half because the key is on both sides. I cut it in half and I'm treating each individual one as a 30 by 40. So even though this one is finished, the diamonds and in turn the spare diamonds of which of the pink I still have three packets left um, and while the swan has a lot of pink I don't think it has as solid a background as this one um, this is actually going to stay kitted up so this will stay kitted up in here until the app decides that I'm going to do the swan and then that's when I'll pull this out because I put both the deer and the swan in my decision app maker or decision app um, and I'm really enjoying that way of deciding what small painting I'm going to do. Um, I have also put large paintings in there as well so when it does come to a time that I have finished the Diamond Art Club Minions I'll let the app decide what's the next big one I'm going to do. So at the moment, I sort of have three slash four projects running. I have a small diamond painting that the app decides. I have a big one, which at the moment is Minions, and it's a little bit on hold. Um, I then have my multi-panel ever moment that I'm currently doing um, because I want to put that above my husband's desk in our conservatory. So that one sort of sneaked its way in. Um, because of the fact that it's going in my home and then I have whatever my current project is so um, you will have seen I finished my last comparison which is a comparison um, in the same image in five different sizes um, so do check that out if you've got the chance I am about to start um, my new comparison which is quite exciting it will be coming in the next I think it's a week on Saturday or a week on Sunday it's due to go up something like that it's within the next two weeks um, and that is going to be my next project one so that's sort of going to be the image that I focus on the most getting done however I will then break it up with both my ever moment and whatever my small painting is. So those diamonds are gonna go on my shelf, um, but I do need to put this one away in my binder. Now, I do think this is a gorgeous image. In fact, both of them would be a gorgeous image for um, decor, for a bedroom, for a child's room. And I do think they both look really nice in that setting. But even if I were to frame these, so even if there was, you know, somebody I wanted to gift them to, for example, if they were decorating a room and it would suit the theme, um, I tend to cut the edges off any one that I frame anyway. If what I tend to like to do is I get a frame that is say a true 30 by 40 and I actually use the backing sheet that comes with the frame 
because I quite often purchase them from Ikea, the frames that is, um, they tend to come with an insert in the frame, which is just paper. And it has the Ikea and stuff on it, but it has a nice big fat grey border where there isn't actually any writing on it. And I like to just stick that on it, uh, stick the painting straight onto that backing sheet and it gives my photos a grey border. Um, I did frame a painting like that on camera. It was um, a canvas succulent. That was a 30 by 40. I framed it in an Ikea frame using the backing sheet. And yeah, I cut all the borders off that one as well. So doing this does not stop me from using a painting in the future. In fact, I could also use it mounted on the black card that I'm about to put this on to go into my folder. So there are many, many options out there for framing still. And if you do want to see any of those framing videos that I've mentioned or even the comparison videos that I've mentioned in regards to, you know, helping you decide what size diamond painting to get, do just go to my website, which is 4kids at 147.com. And I do have a diamond painting videos tab on the website. And that has um, many key videos that give you, you know, hints and tips for certain things. It has them linked there. It still takes you back to YouTube but it saves you looking through my playlist to try and figure out. With doing a video a day, sometimes it can be very hard to find the video that you want. So what I've done is I have compiled as many videos as I can into categories. So there is a category on framing. There is also a category on what size, which is where you'll find my comparison, both my most recent one and the first one that I did. Sorry, I'm just trying to struggle to get a piece of card out of this packet. Come on. There we go. I have um, on my desk, my desk is raised up from the unit underneath it. Um, and there's a gap about that big. And it just houses these display wallets and my card and my paper trimmer so that they're easily accessible, but they're also out the way and I was just struggling to get it out. Okay, there's just a piece of pink wax. Obviously, I re-waxed my pen about then. So, this is a piece of A3 black card. I buy this in a pack of 20 from the range, um, and I choose to mount each picture on an individual sheet of black card and put it into my display folder. You can do them back to back, However, I prefer to do them individually in case I want to purchase, for example, an A3 frame and actually change up, um, change up what paintings I have in there. I could just take out that's a painting out of my display folder to display it. And when I fancy a change, I could just switch it um, and I wouldn't need to do any prep work because they're already mounted onto card. Um, but I just use three strips of double-sided tape. Then I get it lined up where I'm happy that it is pretty much in the middle. See, that black does make it pop. And then holding down on the bottom section, I'm just lifting up the top so that I can peel the backing off the double-sided tape. And then I'll let it fall. The diamonds help it to lay flat, flatten that down, and then I'll pull it up so that I can get hold of the other two. So I've got a shorter strip in the middle. You can do all the way round and add multiple, but I find this is enough to keep it in place. If you were to frame it, the glass would help to hold it, and in turn in the display folder, the pocket that you're putting it in helps to hold it. So, that is that painting mounted. Say, so even though um, 
the paintings, you know, that from many companies on Poured Globe that say they're 30 by 40, but it actually takes into account the canvas size. They actually frame really, really nicely on A3. Yes, you do have a bigger border at the top, but I still think that looks awesome. So you can just get an A3 frame to put them into. And if you do have multiple paintings, it can be a perfect excuse to change them up every now and then and um, pick you know your latest or your latest favorite an actual true 40 by 30 you do need to take off um, a slight row of diamonds to get them to fit in however um, I find that again when you go to frame it even if you're framing it in a true 30 by 40 it's still fine because of the edge of your frame. The only time it wouldn't work is if you were trying to frame it in a clip frame that has no border. Otherwise, the, um, where's the one gone? It's the first one, um, that one. So the, the sort of row or two of diamonds that you've cut off to make it fit in your display folder, if you were to put a frame on it, Quite often, that's where your frame is anyway. It still fits. So that is that painting away. I've got quite a few different ones in here. That's the last winter one that I did. Um, but I hope you enjoy seeing how this has turned out. It's been nice to do a blocky of a colour, i.e. a pink, rather than it being 310 or 3865, so black or white. Um, it's been quite nice to mix it up a little bit. But stay tuned, um, I will be letting the app decide my next painting to work on in the next couple of days. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you all again soon.